Hey guys, welcome to the CSS Master Course. In this video, our topic is how to add CSS. When a browser reads a style sheet, it will format the HTML document according to the information in the style sheet. There are three ways of inserting a style sheet. First, external CSS. Second, internal CSS. Third, inline CSS. External CSS. With an external style sheet, you can change the look of an entire website by changing just one file. Each HTML page must include a reference to the external style sheet file inside that link element, inside the head section. Example. External styles are defined within the link element, inside that head section of an HTML page. An external style sheet can be written in any text editor, and must be saved with a .css extension. The external .css file should not contain any HTML tags. Here is how the misstyle.css file looks. Internal CSS An internal style sheet may be used if one single HTML page has a unique style. The internal style is defined inside that styled element, inside the head section. Example Internal styles are defined within the, the styles element, inside the head section of an HTML page. Inline CSS an inline style may be used to apply a unique style for a single element. To use inline styles, add the style attribute to the relevant element. The style attribute can contain any CSS property. Example. Inline styles are defined within the style attribute of the relevant element. Cascading order. What style will be used when there is more than one style specified for an HTML element? All the styles in a page will cascade into a new virtual style sheet by the following rules, where number one has the highest priority. First inline style, inside an HTML element. Second external and internal style sheets, in the head section. Third browser default. So, an inline style has the highest priority, and will override external and internal styles and browser defaults. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share and subscribe.